So anybody can draw cartoons and you can draw along at home if you have a piece of paper and a pencil. So let's see, we'll start with some basic shapes. We'll draw a circle. And we also have a square or a rectangle. Uh, speaking of angles, we've got a triangle. We have a line. We have curvy lines, lots of curves, make it more of sort of a shape. We have dots, we have small circles, and we're back to big circles again, and that's all we really need for our basics. So let's just draw, I don't know, a bunch of shapes here in a row. And we'll let some of them get a little crazy shaped, a little irregular, maybe some blobs just fill up the space. And now we can go into these shapes and we'll put two dots and a line on one of these circles. And isn't that amazing? It's a face. That's pretty cool. Let's try that again. Two dots and a line. And that line curves. So suddenly it's a happy face. And we can try that over here, curve it a different way, and we get a different emotion. Now that's pretty cool. Let's do that on a bunch of other shapes. I notice if I put that mouth line off to the side, don't they sort of look like they're looking at each other? Or a little crooked like that. And we can add another line here, and that gives us a different expression. Oh, that changes the eyes. Oh, now that frown means something different. We can exaggerate that a little. And we start getting these interesting characters out of just these simple shapes. Oh, that one's a monster now. And this one's a little scared of it. And we can use these strange shapes to kind of bring out some other... Oh, look, it's a dog. I, I feel like the more details I add on to these shapes, the more characters I discover. I'm not really thinking of these characters. It's like the characters are in control of who they are, and I kind of like that because the characters will come up with ideas that I never come up with. Oh, that one has some funny ears. i give it some funny teeth. And we just kind of play on the paper like this, and we discover these characters. Like, no, nobody's quite met them before, and if you find yourself making these faces that your characters are making, you're, you're, you're mirroring them. That means you're reading them closely. Uh, and that's, that's pretty cool. That means you can feel the emotions your characters are feeling. Okay, well this page is full. Let's try another page. I'm going to give myself, let's say, a row of one, two, three, four, five. We can fit six circles on here. We'll do another row of, let's say, six rectangle square shapes. And we better do triangles down here. We'll, we'll change them up a little bit, but basically the same. So on the first one, I'm gonna do something a little extra. Besides a face, I'm gonna add arms and legs. That's kind of nice. That gives it body language as well as face language. Well, let's try it here. Now we have a different expression, so uh, I'm gonna curve the arms up a little. It looks a little more vulnerable that way. And this one looks a little defensive, doesn't it? Better balance that with a, a really happy one. Maybe I'll open the mouth. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Now, those look kind of like antlers, so I'm gonna put hands on them. And then I'll need feet on there. Well, they still look like antlers, but this one with them going down is gonna look like hands. And then I guess if you're kind of thinking or gesturing or pointing, you can kind of try to get those into the hands and see what these characters do. It's just like the blobs and things on our other page. They're kind of doing their own thing. Oh, is that one shaking its fist? It is, look at that. Put a couple lines there. I like that open mouth. It kind of needs buck teeth here. And this is like looking at a crowd of people you might not know, but you can just kind of shape watch. You can character watch and get a sense of who's in this crowd and they're all doing something different. And you may find that they look at each other and interact with each other. This one's looking up at those circles. Ah, but smiling. This one, let's see if we can get one going down. Oh, that one's really tired for some reason. Now I wonder why. You'll find your imagination starts to work on these. You'll actually start to imagine little stories as they start interacting. You know, they'll reach out their hands and maybe, oh, look at these two are reaching out. And that one looks a little bit shy, doesn't it? So something's going on between all these shapes. There's some kind of story here. There's a whole village of shapes here. And my job as a cartoonist is to kind of doodle them down and then follow them and stick with them and see what they all do. Now let's try this. We'll shift to a new page. We'll draw ourselves maybe that row of six. That's kind of a nice number 
draw a bunch of these. We'll give them blank ones, all different sizes and shapes. Oh, we can do some funky shapes in there. So here's my challenge to you. We're gonna fill up a page with these blank shapes, and then I want you to fill them all in with faces and actions and see what they're all doing. They're gonna do things that surprise you. Here, I'll do one, and you do the rest. See what happens. 